We got Candy Spelling in the house. Candy. It's not Does it's Candy not did Candy move? Can, yeah. Howie wants to know all about the manor. He's out of breath. Yeah, because he's out of breath. <laughs> I'm out of breath because I was just horseback riding. So, Howie, what do you want to know? Here, I'll 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 move. Wait, I'm just trying to get on camera here. Hold There's on. a go oh wait, there. Wait, Hold there. On. Okay. Okay, now I'm on camera. Um, hi, Candy. Thank you for taking our call. First of all, you, uh, for those that don't know, you lived in probably, uh, it was a record-setting house, right? Size and sale at the time, right? I'm not hearing you. Wait, hold on one second. How do we not, how can we not hear it? I hear it. Where do you put the, do I maybe, hold it is it just, No. Hold on, Candy. Can you Did turn you, your volume up, maybe? Turn the volume of the phone up. Oh, do you have that on speaker? Don't have that on oh, speaker. Oh, sorry, wait. Okay, here we go. Now we're in business. Okay. Hello? Candy. Hi. Oh, there ah, you are. Now yes. we got Candy. Okay. So Howie here and my lovely daughter, uh, Jacqueline, is here. Hi, Hi Jacqueline. With your Hi, friend. Howie. Hi. So Candy, you, you lived in in the in like the most epic house. Before there was, uh, Josh had his show and they were showing all that. You had the biggest house. I think it was a record setting house, right? In square footage and it was price. bigger than the White House. Right, right. It, it, was, it was pretty big. Did you sell it for her? No, it was before we became friends. She sold it like 13 years ago. Really? And yeah. now you built an epic house, right? Or did you right. bu buy one or did, did you build it? Me or Candy? I'm talking to Candy. Yep. Yes. I'm looking I, at you. I built it. It was a big Crosby house, and uh, it was actually... Uh, Can you believe in the middle of this, one, Josh is finally getting somebody returning a call? Three separate lots, and in order for them to let me, uh, uh, the city to let me build such a big house, I had to combine the three lots into the uh, what was almost five acres. And how many square feet is the house? Um uh, in total, including the attic, it was 70,000 square feet. Right. And do you not, uh, I can't imagine living in 70,000 square feet, but it, it, I know it's gorgeous. We've seen it. It's been posted, right? And, and uh, right. Are, are you comfortable living in 70,000 square feet? Well, you have to understand the attic was 17,000 square feet. So the house <laughs> itself was really 56,000. Sorry. Sorry, it was sorry. 56,000. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought 70,000. I guess that it's kind of quaint. 56,000. It was cozy. 56,000. It was very cozy. <laughs> Which is actually, actually less than that at Holby Hill. It was a very warm house. Wow. Wow. And do you like that? Is that something that you like to do? Do you like to design? Are you very hands-on when somebody's built or do you just handle, do you hire That's the people? That's what you I like? used to do. I used to be a decorator before I got married. I did not know that. So that you, uh, a design, do you, are you an architect too? Like, do you know about decorating? No, and I design? actually, because I was close to one on this. I ended up firing my architect and I hired uh, four uh, draftsmen, and and we set up in the attic, and you know they had they had their uh, uh, desks, and we uh, uh, designed it as we went. <laughs> so, how did you come up with the concept of the wrapping room, the world famous wrapping room? Is, Is it she's the one room? that she's yes. the one she invented the term. I did not know that. You, you know yeah. what a wrapping room? We've I been know that. wrapping gifts. <laughs> yeah, isn't so, that what mom kind of tried to do in her closet? Yeah, you, you, I just want to say before we move on, uh, I've had Josh on for two weeks in a row and every uh, time he's been on, I've asked him to call a plethora of people. And you, I, first of all, I can't thank you enough for you're the only one that returns his call. That is not true. <laughs> Until you returned his call and now his call waiting is off the hook. With, it's okay. Uh, they can all wait. It's his candy is much more important. How did you come up with the with the wrapping room? Well, I came up with a wrapping room because since I was about eight years old, I've been wrapping packages. My first job when I was 14 years old was at uh, Von Dome's. I, I wrapped packages for them. You know, I wrapped those big baskets with the giant bows. And, but people, and when people think of wrapping. Dome's, but it was in Beverly Hills. On, I think it was on Beverly Drive. But when people think of wrapping, they don't think of candy spelling. And you are the queen of rap. You are 
forget about all these other names that come up when you think of rapping. It's Candy Spelling. Well, what's interesting is after I, I built the house and I actually had three wrapping rooms because I wrapped all the packages for Aaron's, you know, he had seven hours on the uh, prime time. For those that don't know, and they, and they do know, so let I me just clarify what you're saying. So Aaron and Spelling was uh, Beverly Hills 90210, um, name, name, this shows. Uh, Melrose Place, Dynasty, Hotel, Dynasty Hotel, uh, Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angels. Um, um, oh, Lordy. Uh, Charmed, um, um, Melrose Seventh Place. Heaven. Um, yeah, At all one of point, them. they stopped Lumbo. calling ABC American Broadcasting Company. <laughs> they called it Aaron's Broadcasting Corporation. Yes, yeah, so he had all those on. So you used to wrap the presents or the gifts that were for the holiday gifts for the casts? The holiday gifts for the cast and crew. And also, uh, uh, you know, the, when he had special guests on any of the shows, you know, like stars, I, we, he always gave them a present. So I always wrapped those all. What was that? What's, uh, t tell me about a star and a present that you gave. Well, we used to give, I used to do like sil silver bowls or silver trays and we would engrave them with the name of the show and, and, and their name, you know. Did anybody it, ever receive something and then they didn't like it? Well, I, that was too bad. It was already engraved. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had that on, on AGT. I gave my, my fellow castmates uh, rap gifts, you know, like when you rap at the end of the season. And they, right. they were always complaining. But Mel the cool thing like about Candy, the best thing about Candy is not only, it's amazing, she, it's, everyone knows the name Candy Spelling. It's amazing that a Hollywood producer's wife became so famous and she built this household name, but how did you do it? How did I do it? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Well, um, you know what? I read a lot of books about Jack Warner. So of course I made Aaron, probably of any producer, had the biggest office that anyone's ever seen. I felt by the time they walked from his door to his desk, you know, they were already, they've lost. I mean, anything he wanted to negotiate, it, you know, it, it, it happened. I get it. I'm like you. I, you know, I mean, same thing. Once somebody comes to Van Nuys, they know who the boss is. Right. Howie's uh, offices are in Van Nuys. I said the only good thing about it is the airport. They used to do charm down the street. Right. In a warehouse. <laughs> You know, Candy's also a huge Broadway producer. She has Tony's now. What plays did you produce? Uh, Promises, Promises, How to Succeed, Color Purple, uh, Moulin Rouge, MJ. Wow. I have three shows uh, opening uh, in, in just a few weeks. I have Suffs, which uh, is about women's suffrage. Wow. I have uh, Alicia Keys' new show, Hell's Kitchen. And I have um, uh, the Great Gatsby opening. See, she's not just a pretty face. That's amazing, Candy. You are so prolific, and you stay busy. You're not. You never at this point say, "I want to like retire," or "I just want to take it easy." Or do you? Do you need to just? I really need to do things, and I never really worked my whole life. So it was. Erin um, got me involved with. Um, I had a. a a partner that was a, a calligrapher and we opened a store in Beverly Hills and that was a big success for a lot of years. And for invitations and things? Mm -hmm. I, was, I was building the manor and he finally said when I'd come home at four in the morning, you know what, you can't stay there and gift wrap all night. You, you know, it's either the house or the, or the gift store. So I gave up the gift store. And then she also owned Nolan Miller too. Owned what? Nolan Miller. I made, don't know what that is. Nolan Miller made every single, you know, dress for Dynasty. Every Aaron. Oh, the the the, uh, the designer. Yes, she owned Love, Nolan Love, Miller. Yes, I owned I owned half the business. I actually owned the building that the you know that we made everything in on Robertson. Wow, so you've like reinvented yourself like more times than I can even imagine. From, oh yes, I'm in the middle of doing that now. I'm now I now have a puppy that's eight months old that actually Josh bought me for my birthday, and uh, she's already won nine nine blue ribbons. Oh, you're gonna be? Are we gonna see you at the Westminster Best Dog Show? show? <laughs> I hope. I hope we get that far. What kind of dog is it? It's a Bichon Frise. 
Very nice, very nice. And you're a very serious competitor? This is something... Oh, yes. Well, she's Are there videos? eight months old, so it'll get more serious. Are there um, videos of the competition? You know, I was lucky enough to uh, just old. acquire uh, the handler that's probably, you know, uh, um, my dog's grandfather won uh, Best of Show in Westminster in 2018, and um, he was the one that was showing her, so he he's going to be showing her from now on. I'm always fascinated with those people because I, I like their uh, their gait. The, the, when you're walking a dog, it, it, it always seems kind of funny to me, but just to, the, the human that right. is the walker and the shower. Wait, look at Candy's Instagram. She's got more followers than you, Howie. How many followers? 1.2 million. You have more followers than me, Candy. There's her dog. And there's you your dog. Got, the dog? Yeah, there's, we're looking at your Instagram page. So oh. we, we, we see your dog, that little cute little white dog. Looks very happy. Yeah. Ooh, it looks my. happy and, and quaffed. Like it's this perfect. This dog, I go over to her house, it's getting its teeth brushed in the kitchen. You brush its teeth in the kitchen? <laughs> no, the, the security guard. It gets groomed every day. Every day. You brush a dog's teeth every day? I didn't know that. Every well, sure. Don't you brush your teeth every day? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not. Well, I guess I'm not competing. Yeah, and they breathe on you. <laughs> oh my God! There you are at a show. I think at a show. Is that her at yeah. a show? Yeah. You have and you have your dog sewn into your into your sweater. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Is that your dog? Did you yes, get? It is. Did you get a? Did you get your dog a custom made sweater with your dog on it? Yeah, this was no. This I had a. I've had Bijans before, and this was. A, it's a thirty-year-old sweater. Don't laugh. <laughs> Nobody's gonna laugh at your sweater. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of her clothes, okay. How many square they, feet they, do you they think Candy's Took a picture is? of my my dog from thirty years ago, and they actually you know? knitted oh, it yeah. in the sweater. So now, now, now he wants to know about uh, about you said the your your closet. Okay, your closet. He <laughs> said, "How many square feet?" Now the the uh, house is seventy thousand square feet. The attic is seventeen thousand. No, no, square no. Feet. This is that's the no, the house is fifty six thousand five hundred square feet, and the attic is seventeen thousand square feet. Together, they're seventy thousand. Okay, so and that's the closet. The manor. Now she has the penthouse. The penthouse. How many square feet is that? Twenty. Twenty thousand. And that's the closet? Closet is, how big is the closet? Here, I, mm, as big as some people's apartment. I think it's about 3,000 square feet. It's embarrassing to say. Well, why is it embarrassing? You're, you're not throwing away a sweater after 30 years. I would imagine you need a lot of space. <laughs> yes, I do. I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not a hoarder. I just keep things that are, you know. No, it's nice. I would have awesome. thought that it, you're keeping it in great shape. It looked brand new and it looked like the dog that you have today. I know. So, they all look the same, by the way, the Bichons. They, they're very similar. <laughs> it's like hobby horses. I've been telling my daughter, I'm, in, uh, I'm starting to get into the hobby horse uh, sport. And uh, we have hobby horses here. And they, somebody was saying they look, they're the same, but they're not. Each one. No, they're not. They're oh, not. Oh, fun. The ones that rock or just hobby horses? <laughs> no, the actual ones used for competing. Uh, they're oh. on a, a on a uh, 38 inch uh, pole with a fuzzy head and a rein, and there is jumping. There's dressage. Some people do dog shows. Other people do hobby horsing. Dressage. Oh, talk about live horses. Dressage. No. Nope. No hobby horsing. What are hobby horses? They're on a. They're on a. Well, you'll watch a this stick. podcast. We're live, actually. Hey, did oh, you, Josh? Did you tell your people that you're live here? Yeah. You, you need I think to tell. So. No, you don't know. You, it's important that you, you tell not. people. You didn't. Yeah. Candy, you are you are really uh, uh, somebody to look up to. You really. I wonder how uh, she feels about regifting, since she is really she knows about gifting stuff. Yeah, what do you think about regifting? How Candy? do you feel about regifting? Well, uh, I only I and I very rarely do that. I only do that if it's something that's really beautiful and you know someone brought it from Europe or they or someplace where you really can't return it. And it's something that maybe someone will really like. I've so the answer that you're giving is yes, you're into regifting <laughs> as long as it's not, uh, not monogrammed. Very, very, very seldom. I have to tell you, I'm very much, uh, um, whatever the person's hobby is or whatever they like, that's what I like. to. I like to buy them something they can really use. So I, I really think out a gift. Is it's, that why the first it, gift you ever gave me was a, was a hookah? Did she give you a hookah? She gave me a hookah. Because you're always walking around with your vape? Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> I thought I thought you were talking about a uh, a professional. A, no, she got maybe a real hookah. Uh, hooker. Uh, that's what I thought. I thought remember you the just hookah put... you gave me. That beautiful. What? Remember the hookah you gave me. Remember the thing Ooh, you know. That was for sure a regift. I think that was a regift. I don't know. Maybe. She's saying that you gave her, you gave him a hookah. Remember the hookah you a gave him? Smoking me? hookah. Oh, the hookah. That was a definitely a regift. <laughs> <laughs> a Middle Eastern person sent it to me, and I didn't even know what to do with it. So. Okay, a Middle East. She went to she went to say, "What do you think of regifting?" I do it very rarely. If it's their hobby, <laughs> if it's something, and then you say, "What about my hookah?" And she goes. A Middle Eastern person gave this to me and I didn't know what to do with it. So, Josh. I did. <laughs> so, Josh, it's all yours. Do you still have it? Of course I have it. Do you use it? I used it once. And? I, I didn't really know how to work it. <laughs> I think a lot goes into preparing go. it. Either. Yeah. Oh, but he's a he's a big vapor, so that's a beautiful. Uh, that's a, you could set but that's up vaping a simple for, contraption. Right, the vape. But she, the vape it's for vaping with company. She isn't? hates when I vape, and she hates when I wear a beanie, and I'm doing both of them right now. Why do you hate Why? when he vapes and wears a beanie? Oh no, he's got that ugly beanie on. Yeah, I'm wearing it to dinner tonight, by the way. I know it's supposed to be cool. Listen. I'm 78. He's he's 38. What do you want from me? <laughs> you guys are well. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for coming on and talking to us. I really appreciate it. And thanks, Josh, for get, get, getting us candy on the phone. Right. And I appreciate it. you. Have no idea how tough oh, it was. Oh, you're getting, very sweet. This was fun. It was fun. Thank you. I love you. Have a good thank day. We love you. You too. No, do you wear the beanie? Do you wear the beanie? And I asked this as a bald man because you didn't like the way your hair, like when you woke I up. I didn't do my hair this morning, so. That's what, what I'm saying. What a dynamic duo you two are. So it's I got kind of so funny... calls that came in, right? Oh, mm -hmm. let's okay. We got a no caller ID twice. That could only be one person. Who's that? Rick Caruso. Rick Caruso mm -hmm. is the only person you know that has no caller ID. Or you. Or you. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking of somebody else I know, and then but I, I just remember calling. it was you. Yeah. Me. Yeah. yeah. So Rick Caruso, is that who kept calling you over oh, and over? We can call Kagan now. Here we go. Well, that's that'll be a boring call. It's just an agent. <laughs> that'll be a boring call.